What's up YouTube, this is NCG here and I'm bringing to you guys what I promised in my competitive tournament regional Goki deck profile, which I think I promised in that one, um, a budget version for you budget local players that you just like the power, you just like the look of Gokis, you're on a very tight budget and you just want to go to your regionals and have a good time, maybe even get some wins because this deck can get some wins if played properly. Um, and if you know the combos that your deck can do, um, you could sneak in a few wins. Um, also, depending on how you take this build and revamp it into your own budget and play style. So, the main deck, I try to make as low budget rarity as I possibly can. Just giving you guys the, f the, the important, the, at least the important stuff that you need to get off as many combos as you can. The extra deck is budget, apart from one, two cards in here um, that I think if you can afford these cards, and I'll mention them as I go, but you'll probably um, notice them when you when I get to them. Um, if you can afford them, whether you pay for them or trade for them, um, it will increase the potential of your deck um, tenfold. Um, you can do a lot more combos. You can get a lot better boards turn one. As opposed to like maybe turn two, um, but if you can get those cards, and again I'll mention them as I go and I get to them, um, your deck will just be a lot, a lot better. Um, so otherwise, the Goki just does what it does, it just spams out links and just is cool and really fun. So let me just get to the deck profile. So to start off, three super X. I'm going to go one for the Gokis because you all probably know much know what they do. Super X is a normal, extra normal, a special summon, normal summon. Uh, free Twist Cobra gives you Gokis an attack buff by tributing a Goki. Free Headbutt Bats um, just um, helps you spam the boards a lot more. Um, Rising Scorpio, this is good against certain matchups just because of how big and beefy it is and easy to summon, um, especially against decks like Tricksters. Um, otherwise it's another name. Two Octo Stretch. Um, you don't want to play more. More is just too too cloggy. Um, it's just it's just there to be a Goki name as well as um the Bear Hug. So you just want to try and get as many Gokis as possible without bricking. And I feel like this ratio is just perfect for all Goki um, decks. For the non gokis you play two more in captains because you just need to get your link summons off and you know for a deck like this that is just focus around link summoning. Um otherwise except for like Rice Scorpio beatdowns, you could say um Morning Captain just helps you there. But if you have like junk forwards and cargo mission knight, um you know just use those. Now I had to put a form of hand trap in here, so I've gone with the cheapest one, Effect Raider. This has been reprinted so many times, as you can see, this is a place that are common. Um, if you can just get Effect Raider, you should be okay for a local setting. So, um, but this can be any hand trap you want, or if you don't want to play hand traps at all, just don't play. Maybe put a few more Gogies or like warrior type monsters. So that's the monsters. Spells, you've got to play free rematch. Free rematch is just so good, just literally, this gets you back into the game from just one card, it's just amazing. Um, brilliantly designed. Um, one reinforcements of the army, you need to get to super X as soon as possible, otherwise you got, that's why you've got things like morning captains, kind of like a second super X. Uh, one bomb for one. Uh, again, getting more monsters onto the board, the more monsters you can get onto the board, the more link plays you can do. And with, um, the Octo Stretch. You could even up Octo Stretch to free if you want to because of the one for one. It's completely up to you. Now I've gone for two desires. This got reprinted in the Mega Tins a while ago. So it is cheap to get. Um, you should be able to get some desires. Um, you just a deck like this which isn't so much combo and drawing off the nightmares like the traditional um, tournament deck. Um, your draws aren't as effective as that so desires i feel like just adds that bit additional consistency to the budget deck build so desires if you don't want to play desires that's fine take desires out put in additional things like maybe two more traps so free call by the grave is common get yourself a play sets guys this card is really really good 
uh, especially for budget players. Um, two double summons. We don't play the Nightmare Goblin because that's like an eight pound card. Um, we're using our money on something else, which you could probably now guess what it is. So I gone for two double summons to stick it. We printed in the Kyber set, so you could probably pick up some on very cheap. It also comes in a common, so you could probably get a play set. Um, if you can get a play set, get a play set. You might as well. But two double summons does help this deck be able to abuse um, Suprex. One monster reborn, monster reborn, one soul charge is also common as well. Uh, Dark Carl is the cheaper Regeki, and two equipped spells in the deck. One Moon Mirror Shield and one Power of the Guardians. I've gone for these because these are cheap and effective. They do give your deck some protection plays and ability to be over stuff. Um, for traps, I've just gone for one. Uh, Solemn Warning and free Torrential Tributes. Goki can play very well under Torrential Tribute and can play well as an effective um, stun deck in its own unique way. Being able to have very stunnish and um, disruptive traps like Torrential Tribute and Solemn Warning while having your Goki's float and just constantly give you resource and board presence is a very nice way to play if you're on a budget. For the extra deck Again, I try to make this as cheap as possible, but only having the important stuff in here. That I think if you're playing Gokis, you should get these cards, in my own personal opinion, because this these cards are what Gokis can abuse and use very effectively. So two Master Ogres, this is your big beat stick of the deck. This is one of your big um, win conditions. One Topologic Bomber Dragon, this card is one of the two cards in here that is on the more expensive side. This guy, last I checked, here in the UK is about ten pounds. You could probably get it for just like 10, 10 to fifteen pounds if you want to pay for it. It is a very strong card. It will be reprinted in the um, next upcoming Mega Tins. My guess, I really do think that this will be reprinted in there, which then it will just be a lot cheaper. But if you can get this card, you're good to go because Gokis can really abuse his guy. This guy is um destructive ability and in conjunction with another card in the extra deck you can make this turn one with some protection. One great ogre, this is your other win condition, one thunder ogre, you know thunder ogre is not played in most um, goki decks but I think on the budget side you can use great um, thunder ogre. One deco talker because it's deco talker you can make this like turn one with some like with a goki underneath it for a power buff. Um, one triple burst dragon. Um, this is this is a strong card against decks, especially against decks that you have like graveyard effects when they're killed. You can negate those. One trigate wizard. You get this in like a in a starter deck. Now this is the other expensive card. One Isolde, two tales of noble knights. I highly like. You can get everything in this extra deck for very, very cheap. If you're going to expend your money on one card in the extra deck, if you're go starting Goki player, buy, get this card. This card, literally, if you take this card out, your deck can do plays, but it's the as soon as you add this card into the extra deck, your deck's plays just like, it just dramatically increase tenfold. The, the, you don't know. It's amazing what one summon and the search can do to a deck to just to give it additional plays. This card is just so, so good. I highly recommend you guys to get this card if you're a Goking player. If you can't get this card, don't worry. You can still play the deck without it. You can perfectly play the deck well without it. You're just, just bear in mind that your plays aren't as explosive turn one. You're more of now of a turn two control deck you, you're, or you should build your deck to be more turn to control deck. More traps, more disruptions. Um, things like Horn of Heaven is very cheap, very effective in this deck because of the tribute thing. Um, you can just get a search of your go keys. You can do that, and um, I just recommend. But if you can get this card, get it. it your, your deck would be a lot better, trust me. Um, two Mrs. Radiance again because of the Isolde. This is kind of like your second or third Isolde in its own unique way. Just give it just gives your Gokis a nice little buff. You can just do tons of damage. Nightmare Cerberus and Phoenix are the super rare um, nightmares. 
very cheap, very easy to get. If you're link, if you like links and you want to play Gokis as well, get the get these cards. Heck, even if you're a Cyburst player, get these cards. You know they're very very strong. Um, one Bino Sorceress again. It was in the um, same starter deck as the Trigate Wizard, and one Underclock Taker. So guys, that is the Goki budget deck. I try to make it as budget as I can. Um, literally just you know just trying to think back to like if I'm a Gogi player just starting off what should I get what can I afford and if I had to get something that is expensive you know what should it be and I hope that this deck helps you guys into you know starting off Gokis you know just for local play and you know having a good time and all that so again I hope this helps um, I hope you enjoyed this profile as well. Um, I will try and do more things like this where I take a deck, a very strong competitive deck that I'm playing, make it as like not expensive as I can, but you know as competitive as I can without worrying about budget, and then bring you guys later on a budget, more budget version. You know, just because I feel like videos like that and decks like that, you know, do help us in the community, you know, get into the game. Uh, having to worry about breaking the bank so hope you enjoyed it guys if you did leave a like comment down below if you did if you have any recommendations for the budget players out there who are on a budget bear in mind this is for them so don't go saying things like oh where's your griffin where's your firewall where's your bordo they people can't afford that guys not until at least the megatons once the megatons come out i will do an update on this budget build seeing how the prices jump and go back and forth hopefully as old as will be printed in there which then that would be great so again if you did like comment subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content and until next time guys as always keep having fun